Our next guest has us all asking, what's Gabby cooking? I was asking her that a little bit earlier. Well, today she's in our kitchen serving up a white wine chili flake pasta. Please welcome back our good friend, Gabby Dalkin. Welcome back, Hi, Gabby. Hi, how are you? Great, good, so to, good see to see you. good to see you. You look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and before we get into this great recipe, you've got some very exciting news. I have, so we have a little baby on board oh, now. congratulations! Thank you, it was a you long three-year fertility process to get here, but here we are. You did amazing, and we here you it. are, and I've been watching you and seeing you on uh, Instagram, and the journey has been pretty cool. Thank you. Say. So thanks for being here today. We're gonna get good cooking on this. I hope the, the baby wants a little bit of pasta. I mean, the child's made out of carbs, so like <laughs> we're just continuing on for a while. Okay, good. We got so, some tomatoes on there. So yeah, this is a white wine chili pasta. It's from my new cookbook, and here's the deal. Like everyone freaks out about eating wine or whatever, cooking with wine when you're pregnant. Yeah. All the alcohol cooks off. Cooks off. So it's totally safe for the me, kids. this child, your five-year-old, whatever That's it is. That's right. It's all good. And it's the end of tomato season. So we are going to use that rest of the tomatoes from everyone's gardens Those and the so market. Those are beautiful. Oh, so, right? gorgeous. These are yellow tomatoes. You could use red, whatever. Right. Whatever floats your boat. And what's going in there? Is that this is just a ton of garlic. Yeah, I We're saw that. We're going to saute it. I just want you to measure that with your heart. You know, I, I don't need to because I can smell it. I can measure it from <laughs> here. I can smell it from here. It's so good. I mean, we can all radiate garlic all day. It's fine. Yes, as long as so, we're all doing it together. <laughs> exactly, right? By the way, there was a little olive oil you could use butter to start in here as well, just to like give it a little something, something. And there's a little kick in there with the chili flakes, Red right? Red pepper flake, yes, correct. So we're just gonna turn this heat up while these tomatoes are simmering. I'll season it with a little salt. Beautiful. And a little pepper. And this, like, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, how long does that come together? So this will probably come together for like five-ish minutes. You just, not too long, you don't wanna burn the garlic. Okay. But once it's together and the heat's hot, you're gonna add the wine. Gotcha. So just. Pour it all in there. This is a Sauve Blanc. I would use anything except an oaky Chardonnay. And the reason is? It's too oaky. It's I too mean, oaky. if you love an oaky Chardonnay, I support you. Yeah. But like, it's not my no, favorite. No judgments here. It's not no my judgments. favorite. I mean, I'm not drinking any wine right now, but prior to being pregnant, it was not my favorite. This is the only way that you're getting even the <laughs> essence of wine. I've been like smelling my husband's wine. Is by wine cooking it off. <laughs> right, exactly. So now you have to really let that kind of reduce. Yeah, so it, this, right? and you'll, we can see it. It'll start to bubble around the edges. We're gonna let the alcohol cook off entirely and we'll just be left with this. Okay. Which is this like delicious, not soupy, but kind of a little thicker tomato-y jam situation. You could just eat that. You literally could. This is what I call tomato confit. I serve it with bread. You oh. can put it on fish, chicken, the works. Oh, you literally do. I do. <laughs> okay. So once you got that, now we're going to put in this incredible looking pasta. Right? Look at this. This I, is called malfadine. Malfadine. You it, could use any pasta. But doesn't it look like sort of mini lasagna noodles? Yeah, it is. Like, look, like one, you could make lasagna out of this. This would take ages <laughs> to like assemble, but it's possible. It. But we're just going to put that in here, toss it all together. I like to add a little bit of lemon zest and lemon juice into this to give it a little bit of a zip. Can I ask why you're uh, adding it now after? Is that way that, that way you, sort of the lemon flavor stays in there? Yeah, if you add it at the beginning, the lemon cooks off a little bit too gotcha. much and becomes like not as exciting. And this will just really make it pop. And lemon like brings out every flavor. Okay, so, so that's what wanna... lemon does. But I think it's a really interesting ingredient in this to get that little lemon flavor in a I pasta. feel like lemon is under utilized in pasta recipes. Like it's so good and it just like really brings everything out and brightens it up. Especially as we go into like the fall months, we need like a little bit of brightness. Super helpful. And that's one little secret ingredient, but you've got another one going in here now well, too. Well, yeah. Not so secret really. I mean, it's I'm a carb on carb kind of girl. <laughs> so these are just homemade garlic breadcrumbs. You could also use like toasted panko, regular store-bought breadcrumbs, but I can't remember where I first like decided to add breadcrumbs to pasta. I think I'd had it at a restaurant traveling yeah. or something. It's crazy what this little crunch will do to the dish. It's that contrast in texture, isn't it? Like yeah. you get the soft pasta with the flavors and then you get a little crunch from the breadcrumb. I mean, it's, it's pretty genius. We also put breadcrumbs on a burrata panzanella pizza in this last cookbook. It's just silly. <laughs> right, we're gonna get to the cookbooks right now. I know during uh, our little uh, hiatus at home for a yes. while, you, got, uh, you were just about to go on tour for yeah, Eat we were, What You Want, which we is your cookbook. We were gonna do a 30 city book tour. 30 not, City Book Tour. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, but you guys can still find it. There it is. Eat what you want. This recipe's from there, and you also get breadcrumb pizza as well. Yeah, there, I mean, there, it's, there's a carb chapter. 
But not only <laughs> not only that, you uh, also are in the works for another cookbook yeah, already? I mean, why not, right? What else do you're we have? Amazing. We're not going anywhere. No, it's true. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're productive. You're using this time very wisely. Zach, I want to do something. I feel like it was inspired by this time. Like everyone, when, every, when co quarantine started, everyone started cooking and I was getting so many DMs on Instagram about how to make this or how to make that and I want to teach people like to take it easy how to entertain yourself your family like small groups of people and really make it special Listen, so if you don't follow Gabby on Instagram I highly recommend it you're very engaging too like you really kind of reach out and chat and yeah I respond to mm. all my DMs it's my favorite part of my job getting to talk to everyone how is it this is gonna blow your mind I'm so excited it really is mm. sensory overload <laughs> Really so good, <laughs> still crunching and chewing and enjoying. Oh my God, the lemon is out of this world, Gabby. You've done it again. Thank you. You're so good. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm so again. happy to see you. You look amazing. As always, find this recipe. You know where, hallmarkchannel.com. I'm still chewing. And for more <laughs> of Gabby's delicious recipes, be sure to pick up a copy of her cookbook, Eat What You Want, and her new one when it comes out too. Both available uh, wherever books are sold, everybody. Check it out and enjoy.